Hello all, welcome to Oracle Cloud ERP Technical Trainings. In this session, we'll discuss about how do we invoke a BA report using SOAP Visual from OIC. Let's see what are the things required for this one. So the first thing is the requirement is to invoke a BI report and here is a path which I mentioned. And we have to consider, if you want to invoke a BI report, we have to consider the Visual as this particular one it's called public public you know like a public report service visual and here you just need to replace your cloud erp url slash xmlp services services v2 report service visual okay and what are the things which we consider in our bi report we just consider an integration integration style, style as schedule orchestration and the, the only connector as soap connector so it's just a partial functionality because we uh, in, in real time you know what is the expectation is that you just invoke a bi report read the content and upload that into our appropriate destination system. But here in this particular functionality, I just want to show you how do you invoke and what are the configurations required, okay? So let me get into my integration home. So this is my report, BI report integration. So I'll just deactivate it. So I just want to show you what are things I considered. And here I said you like, uh, we have just considered only SOAP visual. So let me show you that also, SOAP connection. So let me click on connection first. So BI report soap. So here, if you observe, I just mentioned the visual URL, report service visual, and I haven't mentioned here no security policy. So for this report service, it requires it 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 wants the credentials to be passed in the it to be passed, you know, like while invocation. In the connection, it will not accept. Don't mention the data in the connection; it will not work. Okay. So in the soap, make sure that you don't need to mention any of the security credentials. Once this is done, just close on it, go to integrations. Now here, let me show you what I have done for this. BI report integration, schedule orchestration. And here I just considered the SOAP connection here, invoke BI report. So let's see what are the properties I mentioned for this one. We just need to, so for this visual, it provides a different set of operations. So I have used run operation. So here, if you observe operation as run operation, run report, sorry, run report is my operation that's it there is nothing to change in any of the properties the operation has run report and here if you observe the mapping properties so it all depends upon what kind which report you want to invoke because when you are invoking a report obviously it will have parameters if it doesn't have parameters it's a different story but if we generally have parameters you have to make sure that you mention the parameter name as well as value so for this particular report which i'm considering it has only one parameter here if you observe I have a parameter called ledger name. So I need to pass it. You know, here, if you observe the parameter name is ledger name without any spaces, that's a parameter name. I need to pass the appropriate value. While working the report, make sure that you mention the parameter name as well as value. So in the mapping, we have to mention all these things. So in the mapping, we have to mention what are the credentials of this particular, particular you know, visual. Okay. And also here, if you observe. So here, we have to mention the report absolute path, right? So this is my report absolute path. And also, yeah, so in the report request, so what you do is make sure that you mention all these things. In the report request, parameter name values, expand this one. Uh, it's a little bit tricky, but this is how we have to, it will work, okay? So in the, here if you observe carefully, so let me just show you again. So in the outbound soap request document, in the body and in the run report, scroll a little bit and in the run report we have a tag called parameter name values in the parameter name values list of parameter name values again in that item so you have this thing called name so in the param this is nothing but your parameter name okay and you just need to mention the parameter name and you need to mention the value for this particular parameter name so our parameter name was ledger name and the value was what i'm passing as us primary ledger and similarly mention what is your report absolute path so in the report absolute path mention the report the total report path of the xdvo and below you'll have a user id and password okay so once these are mentioned so what all we have to mention the parameter name user id credentials as well as report absolute path these are the very important things when you want to invoke a bi report okay so let me close this one now yeah close We'll activate now. Okay. 
I'll include payload also because I just want to see what is the output it will generate. Okay. So there is a way we can find out the output also. I'll show you. And click on this particular icon. Click on submit now. Submit now. Okay. It got submitted. Now let's see. Yeah, this is getting run. We should get finished also. Yep, it got completed. So I just want to see the payload. I mean the response. I click on a trial. Sorry. See, see the stream. Activity stream. Okay. Now load more items before the stop, right? Before the stop here, if you observe the response payload so this is a response which our bi report web service is providing so this is not a human readable format so actually you know like we have to encode this one so that you can read the file but i just want to show you how it works okay so i'll just show you it will generate when you invoke a bi report it generates the data in a six like a bit 64 data so here if you observe just search for the report report bytes tag okay and whatever the content which is between report bytes that is an actual response of your report so here if you observe so now so i'll just delete this report bytes tag okay so this is only for developer purpose in the real time this is not the way we i mean business user doesn't need to care about all these things okay so let me get into this just paste here and click on decode One minute, I think something happened. Yeah. So now here, if you observe, just click on decode. This will generate the data here. If you observe, yeah. So this is the output which you get from this particular day 64 format. So now here, if you observe, as of now, we, are, we just saw the logic of invoking a report, but we are not passing the output to a particular location. So that's the next functionality you can achieve. You can try to achieve it. But this is just a very partial functionality to just understand how can we invoke a BI report from the ICS or OIC. Okay, thank you.